Why, hello, my friends. Have you ever found yourselves wanting to rule over a small, charming, delightful kingdom as a prince or princess, able to go ahead and lift your people up to new heights by taking good care of your villages, maybe hiring a few knights, helping them to train up and go out on expeditions, and possibly being able to go ahead and... <clears throat> conquer the world through alliances made through romance or perhaps just with you know political marriage alliances with the other surrounding kingdoms well yeah i mean come on that sounds amazing <laughs> that sounds like the basis for a really fun fairy tale like story and that is the basis on which fabledom is founded so this is actually a demo of the game fabledom which will be coming out like or hopefully pretty soon. There's not a release date yet, but the devs reached out and tossed this demo my way. And I have to say, friends, I'm completely enchanted. Not that I know if there's going to be, you know, any enchantment in here, but why don't we go ahead and start a new game and find out? Well, this is cute. This is so cute. <laughs> so this is literally as far as I have seen the demo. Uh, as soon as I found this little bit out, I knew I needed to go ahead and hang out with all of you in this glorious fabledom realm. Because friends, never fear, this, what you see here, is not the only kingdom map that you can find. You actually have procedurally generated kingdoms, which just delighted the heck out of me because you know how much I love randomness. And then every now and then, and don't worry about this, this is just the narrator down in the corner. But every now and then, like, if you want to, you can hit a randomized seed, and it will completely change everything you see here. Because these are the kingdoms that we might go ahead and pick from. We could have Try a Day over here, and you can edit the names, don't worry. And it tells you different information. Realm information. While each world is procedurally generated. Oh, you know how much that excites me. <gasps> Just think if we could start lineages. Oh my gosh. And then like have spinoffs. Or what about like a fable them like legacy challenge where like the prince or princess just continues to lose their kingdom. And we have to like make a whole new one every generation or something. That would be hilarious. And actually, now that I speak of it, I don't know if there are going to actually be opportunities for generational gameplay, but there are going to be opportunities for potential romance. Or, like I said, very, you know, scheming behind the back of the scenes political alliances. Because not only do you get to look at, like, which of the different realms you would like to go ahead and have, not only is it procedurally generated, uh, but you also can play as a prince or princess, and you can say if you're looking for a princess, a prince, or any, like, as your potential... Your, I guess, I, I hesitate to say soulmate, because <laughs> to be honest, if you guys have ever seen our Sims 4, or excuse me, our Sims Medieval, there we go, uh, legacy and its events in a moss stone kingdom with green briar rose, then you know that sometimes, unfortunately, soulmates are not those who you share the throne with. But it does add for a lot of drama to go for that political angle. So I'm really looking forward to that because apparently like you have to like romance or like do alliances with the surrounding kingdoms. I wonder how many people you can romance. That'd be kind of hilarious. And I really like that you can pick like prince, princess, any. You can pick if you want to be a prince or a princess. And like I said, you can pick your procedurally freaking generated realm that would have a realm size. And then you have either few or like a lot or really dense hills. Uh, same with the forest, small, normal, dense forest, ocean access. I've only ever seen, oh here, like this one only has medium ocean access. I wonder if that affects like trade routes? I have no idea. I truly have no idea. And like, this is really cute and all, but it's kind of like self-contained. So why don't we go ahead? I love, my eyes are literally sparkling. Cause look at this, now it is an entirely new map. And you can go ahead and like pick from one of these realms to see if those sate your desires instead. Uh, and you know, I'm still quite not feeling this. I, I kind of want something that indicates that the world is a little bit more expansive and open and ready for exploration. <gasps> Oh, but this is really cool too. You could be kind of an isolated island. You could potentially struggle for a whole bunch of resources along this middle bit. Or you could possibly have Soputura, which is a large realm with large ocean, normal forest, and a few hills. I kind of really like this one. Look, there's 
there's even little whales! Ah, oh, that's cute! Because it's sort of removed from everyone else. And I could see, like, this, but it has, like, one land bridge and it has some really good ports on both sides. Because you could trade with, uh, and again, I don't know if there's trade routes, but <laughs> if you guys aren't here for the immersive roleplay, I don't know why you're here. But I do hope you're having a good time. But, like, we could trade with Idoran over here, uh, or we could trade with Dosite. And I bet you can even, like, maybe go through Idoran, probably, like, paying a ton of tolls, to get to Trani. Um, Lugella and Moralnas, we would be kind of blocked off from. But, again, look, there like, two more of the kingdoms, three with a little bit of wiggles, uh, we could access pretty easily. So let's actually pick this one. Sofa, uh, I kind of like this name, but I want to go with So, Sofa Tria. That actually seems really nice, like Sofa Tria. Wow, normally I name everything Moss, but maybe Sofa Tria, Moss, Sofa Tria, Sofa Tria Leaf. <laughs> oh my gosh, I would be somebody, Sofa, um, let's see, Sofa Tria. You know what, we're just going to roll with it. I'm, I'm entering some tentative new territory actually not using like leaf or moss in a name for a kingdom but how about we say this the sofa tria actually happens to be a beautiful rare flower that only grows within our realm <laughs> too bad there's not like some sort of game where i could go ahead and make my own hybrid plants that would be amazing um, anyway, we're going to be a princess this time, looking for anyone. Prince, princess, I honestly don't care. Uh, as long as perhaps there's going to be some sort of wonderful romance, or somebody shows up with, you know, a lot of shiny gemstones. I am kind of weak to those. And we'll go ahead and we'll be Siri, because why not? Well, do I want to be Siri? If I'm going to do, like, generational stuff, do I want to be Siri? Hmm, since this is the demo... We will be the great ancestor, Princess Siri, and perhaps one day Sopatria will rise again out of the procedurally generated map. <gasps> oh, actually, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to uh, take a little screenshot of the seed, and maybe we will actually be able to enter the seed. <gasps> no, Sopatria! <laughs> ah! Okay, okay, it's still Sopatria. Oh my gosh, I nearly passed out. I was like, are you kidding me? I destroyed it just when I got so attached. <laughs> so, um, the good news is, I guess in the future, because they have seeds, if we end up really loving this and you guys want to play in the same realm and, like, send screenshots, oh my gosh, patrons, come on, we're going to have a good time uh, with all of that, then, like, oh my gosh, like, our patrons could even, like, send us some updates from the other kingdoms where they could play those. <gasps> my mind is blown. But let's not, let's not lose the ability to go ahead and have Sofa. There we go. Tria. There we go. Phew. Okay. I think we're safe now. Let's play. Kind of surprised I didn't pick the place that has just a ton of forest. <clears throat> there is a narrator, but I decided I just enjoy narrating too much. Once upon a time... It goes, a story of love and wo- uh, a story told of love and woes. When all the kings and queens of yore sent forth their children to explore. Aww, I really like this layout. <laughs> lands of plenty, birds and bees. New lands of plenty, fields and trees, fertile yielding birds and bees. <laughs> a little cheeky there, aren't we? It's your turn, prince or princess you. Discover, con uh, conquer, dare and do. Spoilers, the princess is on the right, and prince is on the, or, like, princess is on the left, prince on the right. Remember, friend, tis not just sword that makes one lady or a lord. Oh, look at that! To build a kingdom, tis an art, but don't neglect your spirit's heart. Oh, It's supposed to have a lot of customization! Through love or war, these lands ignite, shall ever be united. Wow, I wonder if this is all like the seventh or eighth, like, prince or princess who got yeeted off to the new land. Now go, be kind, be cruel, cruel be scrappy, and may you ever after happy. Hmm. This is really cute. Oh, there's flying pigs! <laughs> I have worked really hard not to spoil myself too much, because just the premise alone, I was like, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna love this. This is gonna this is gonna be something I'm really into. Oh hello, little ones! Hi! Are these my people? Where am I? I wonder, do I get to be oh oh hello! Okay. 
So, we're moving around. Oh, hello everyone! Wow! Can I, can I, can I rename you? Oh man, I really hope one day I can rename these guys, because that would be really fun. So, and then... Ooh! <gasps> yes, I can get right down in there with everybody! And by doing that, we actually made it so that um, I earned a little bit of money. Where were we? Oh yes, our kingdom began with little more than a humble <laughs> laborer's hut. Now where did it go again? Alright, so these are my people! We have Roger, Ralph, Mabel, Alice. Oh, welcome. Welcome to the, the family. I really hope I will one day be able to rename you because that would be delightful. Uh, Alright, so we have a little laborer's hut. How about... This is so cute. Oh my heart, and the music is beautiful! We'll put it over here, and it's a little workplace. So, laborers construct buildings as long as the required material is available. A workplace requires fablings, which are the name of these guys, to operate. You can assign fablings right over here. Excellent. Uh, that's roads and bridges. Uh, oh, over here! I see! I wonder, it'd be kind of fun if you could, like, specify who you wanted to assign. But the game's gonna be out in early access, so maybe we'll be able to, like, suggest a lot of things in the future. And then they want me to build a little road. So, well, okay, I don't want to build another hut. <gasps> a little gravel road! It costs two of our gold! Perfect for countryside and industrial areas. Fablings try to prioritize working along roads. Fablings will always try to follow roads to the best of their ability. Connecting roads to the blue arrow indicators will help guide them. Okay. So we want to go ahead. I guess, where, where do we want to go? Oh, I wonder if that helped to like move them a little closer to this. Oh, they have little gnomes. They have some vegetables, some stones and some wood. Good for them. Uh, ooh. Oh, wait, I have like 386 coins. That's a lot better. So construct a home, build a homestead, build two homestead attachments inside the new garden, assign a head of household. <gasps> this is so cute. So homestead, the first tier of housing, perfect for the countryside, requires a head of household to operate. What? So you get to have like the head of household, which I guess is like the person who takes care of the home, obviously, because it's a homestead. What's this? Some buildings use foundations and attachments. After placing the homestead, hold and drag to place the foundation. Attachments are placed automatically by default. If you prefer, you can disable that feature and place them manually. Wait, 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 wait. This is this, is, this sounds really fun. All right, well, I don't want them to have to be too far away from where they like could live at the moment. And also, I kind of think they should be close to the road. So why don't we build a home right here? And then this is the homestead. And now, so we built a homestead, and then we want to do the attachments. So homestead foundation, a garden area with cut grass surrounded by a fence. So, oh, cute! Okay, <gasps> look at that! Whoa, I love how I can get right up in their home! There's a little clothing line and an outhouse. I wonder if they're going to have like a little garden or something soon. Uh, build a homestead, got it. Uh, oh, and assign the head of household. Oh, inside the new garden. Yeah, wait, can I build two attachment? Oh, oh! <laughs> so, can I, can I actually figure out some material needed build? Wait, have I not built it yet? Oh, look, you can put in a dog house! And they do different things! Oh my gosh. So you could remove the outhouse. Have I not started building this yet? Um. Because is this... Okay. Oh no, I really like that building. Ah! Uh, but I want to add, like, adds one plant homegrown per day to its hub with an apple tree. Okay, hey, hold up. So clothing lines add three desirability. So maybe we should leave that. Turn down clothing into a thing of the past. This amazing invention will dry your clothes for you. Yup, it's a whole clothing line. I mean, I shouldn't laugh because it did take Sims in The Sims 4 a few years to figure that out after all. Oh dear. And then there's a little dog house. Who's a good boy? Desirability to itself. Come on. All right. You guys can wear wet clothes if it means we could have a little dog house. <gasps> Look, and you can go ahead and I can actually place them manually. I really, really like that. Outhouse. Tired of going in a bucket. Try this impressive innovation in waste disposal. And that is desirability. 
a small greenhouse, smaller than a big greenhouse, adds one homegrown per day to its hub, not during winter. Beehive, who wouldn't want a nest of aggressive insects in their backyard? What? That's so cute. And then there's also apple tree, like a totally normal tree, but with apples. And a chicken coop. Wake up to the soothing screech of the rooster. Oh my gosh, what happens if you like randomize? Oh, this is so cool. Oh my gosh. So there's like a greenhouse in the apple tree and then it needs 10 wood we have. So then build. Okay. And then I guess my laborers. Oh, look at that. Okay. So the laborers are coming over. They're picking up their little, their little burden. Let's see. Oh, wooden bridge. Hello, to cross water? Well, that is interesting. Look, they're building the little house. And they're gonna have the little, <gasps> look, you can see the little apple tree sign. I think this only gives like three people a home though. So I probably need to build another one. Um, but also I guess if they have little homesteads, ho oh, ho, the first homestead. This is where your fablings live and eat. A head of household is required for the homestead to operate smoothly. Make sure one has been assigned, won't you? I think they need water. <laughs> Missing water source in the area. The first tier of housing, perfect for the countryside, requires a head of household to operate. So we have Ralph, Mabel, and Alice living here. I think Alice is already employed. Um, no, Alice is not employed, I think. I think she's just like in the house. Basic well. So we want a well so that that will add desirability so they have water. That's really cool. And then manage household. Oh, Alice is head of household, isn't she? Oh, cool. That's so cool. Oh, man. I forgot to read about what head of household does. <laughs> Dang it. I should have paid more attention. All right. Oh, look. There's so many other things. <gasps> yes, large chicken coops. Oh, my gosh. There's the lumber camp. Oh, some of these are self-explanatory, and some of these are just going to be, like, delightful. What is this? Prismatic liquid extractor and refining? Hello, sheep farm. An inn. Street theater, puppet show, grand theater, concert hall, military stuff. None of it available during the demo. Oh, watchtower. Oh man, do we need to like really get into defense? Because I'm a little nervous about that, to be honest. Uh, wow. And then you can just see like everything you can currently unlock. This is cute. This is really cute. All right. Anyway, we probably need to give them water. Some buildings only affect a specific area indicated by the blue shape. All right. So we want to make sure our homesteads and everybody else. They've got some nice water. And then some buildings require upkeep to stay in good condition. To see when the next payment is due, hover over the coin icon at the top of your screen. All right, so daily update or upkeep for the well is three. Okay, that's good to know. Hopefully people will have a well soon. And I wanna make sure that they have like another homestead. But what's interesting is how big the homesteads can be. Like, can I go ahead? And look, you can add more foundation here for just two more. And look, you can like go backwards. Wow. And then I could come in and it looks like I can't add any more attachments, but can I move them? Let's see, destroy. Ah, I can't really do that. Okay, I'm gonna have to be more cautious with that in the future. Yay, the well is done. Okay, oh, and we do need to build the second homestead and welcome new fablings. All right, well, how about we give them neighbors right here? Because I have a feeling we might expand like a lot. So I'm gonna go this way this time. <gasps> they have a little doghouse and an apple tree, accepted. Oh, this is cute. All right, and let's also get the road going because now we want people to be able to be connected to all of the spots they need to reach, right? And apparently that'll make it so they can get around easier. And then maybe we could even connect like these spots. And then do I have it connected to... All right, come here, little gravel road. Oh, look at that. We've started our little village. I'm so happy. It's adorable and poor like Roger is unemployed and he also needs a house but guess what it looks like he is now going to be the head of household so he's, he's just waiting for a family <laughs> he's just waiting maybe he can have a puppy <laughs> oh this is so much fun and then that will add to his desirability what's this 
Hmm, this can't be right. It seems you got a letter from an admirer. Odd. Well, I suppose there's no accounting for taste. Hey, now. You can open it by clicking the letter icon at the top center of the screen. So, what? All right, let's accept those. Welcome. Oh, what? What? Am I already being romanced? I am already being romanced. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is adorable. Dearest princess, my sun and spring, such a splendid land this is. Undulating hills and wide fertile plains. It is the dream of our ancestors. I wish to make this land into a paradise, but I cannot do it on my own. Your dashing countenance is already the talk of the land. Shall we meet? And then this is Aborth Aborthia, the harvest princess. What? What? Like, how? I, I barely got started here. Like, <laughs> that's so cute. Already we're getting flirtatious messages from um, the other the other realms and the other kingdoms that probably just want our money. We're going to have to be on the lookout, friends. Like, oh, there's the little flying pigs. They're, they're coming for my flowers. We've got to be on the defensive. We've, we, we need to be prepared. But all right, guys, I love this. This is so cute. I'm really, the demo is not very long, so I don't know if we'll have much more uh, in the future. I'm, I'm hoping we will. <gasps> There's weather. I love my little town. This is adorable. So, <sighs> I need to change that name. Sophitria. Oh, it's just precious. It's so cute. Oh my gosh, look, the water is gathering. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be precious. Margaret. Oh, we had new people move in. William and Margaret. Yes. Okay, maybe we need to build more houses too. Huh. But all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me today. It looks like newcomers will be arriving soon, but there's no available housing to see how many days are left until the next arrival. What the heck? Oh my gosh. And in a week, they're going to be arriving. So that's so cool. We must be getting like people just coming in in little shipments to come and like join our kingdom from the other lands. Oh, I could have so much fun with this. The stories, everything. I, I'm, I'm intrigued. I feel like maybe the Harvest Princess literally has nothing but the clothes on her back and she's just kind of like desperately like, that looks like a place that could have a lot of farms. Maybe that'll work. So we'll have to see what we think about her next time. But all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. If you could, do please leave a like to, I don't know, pluck an apple from these adorable little apple trees. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, stay curious, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.